Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hello again. So this is my channel. I love to do DIYs on a budget, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, farmhouse and rustic, wreaths, and seasonal decor. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. Also leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys think. Also give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and Facebook. And now on Facebook, you can come over to my Facebook page and follow me. I do lives every Friday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So come on over and check it out. I do a different craft every Friday, and we have so much fun. That link will be down in my description box. Also, today is about hope hopping into Easter. Our host is Rustic and Lace DIY and six kids and a glue gun. There will be a playlist also. I will get more about that in a minute. But first, let's get into DIY number one. So the first DIY, I'm going to take some stripped um, fabric and ribbon, and then I'm going to take some twine. I'm also going to use this little bunny sign from the Dollar Tree, some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby, and also this paint, which is vintage tea rose, and some of my Distress Oxide, some stamps, and some Excelsior. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to just push down and make the imprint of the bunny's feet on there so we could cut those out on the scrapbook paper. Next, I'm going to paint the bunny with the vintage uh, tea rose, I believe it's called. And then I'm going to use some Mod Podge and I am going to put that on the feet so we can put down our scrapbook paper. And I do that with the both feet. Next, I'm gonna go around the edges with my dark antiquing wax. You can get this um, on Amazon. I do have a link down below in my Amazon shop where you can find that. And I just make it just so that it sticks out a little bit more. It gives it a little more interest and it looks a little distressed because I love that look. If you don't like that look, you could skip this part altogether. But I did that around both of the bunny's feet. And I just take it and rub it. It's like a wax and it's just really easy to use and a little goes a long way with the stuff. And then once I get that done, I'm gonna take a different stencil brush. It's a little bit wider and it's a Dollar Tree stencil brush. And I'm just brushing very lightly. I like the old vintage grungy look. Like I said, if you don't like this look, you can skip this part and just leave it at, you know, with the scrapbook paper and just whatever you wanna paint your bunny with. Next, I'm going to um, go around the outside edges as well with the, um, dark sealing wax. Now you can also see, purchase this, um, it's a bare product at I believe Lowe's. Now I'm gonna show you how I make my rag bows. Um, I have this little Bordabra that's also in my Amazon shop. I put a piece of twine down the center and then I just start taking my lace and I'm just going to start making bows. I'm just gonna keep overlapping both ways and I'm gonna stick it down in the middle and then I'm just gonna cut the excess off or you could keep going as much of the lace as you want. And I do the same thing with the fabric. So I'm just putting it in the center and I'm just flipping it back and forth, making a bow on each side, loops, I should say, on each side. And then um, I just cut the excess off. And you just do that with whatever colors that are gonna go with whatever project you're working on. I also use cheesecloth that I stained with some tea or coffee, I use both. And then I'm also gonna use some cotton lace. And then I go right back to some more lace that I coffee stained. I get my lace on Amazon. Tamu also has great um, lace as well. And then you just take your twine, bring it up and tie it in a knot. Next, I'm gonna take some of this um, pink twine that I have, and I'm just gonna wrap it around my four fingers and I'm just gonna keep wrapping it. And I'm just gonna make like a little twine bow. And then I'm gonna bunch it up in the center and I'm going to make a knot in the middle to hold that all together. And then see, it's just a pretty little bow that you could put in the center of your other bow. 
nice and easy. And then I'm going to take this piece of drop cloth that I had and I'm going to stamp on bunny hop. And then I'm going to distress it with some of my Distress Oxide um, stamp. It's a uh, vintage photo, it's called, is the color. And then I'm going to do my bow there where the little tail is. And then I'm going to take some of this Excelsior, bunch it up, and I'm going to stick it on each side of my bow. Just to give it a little something else. And then I'm going to take the little bunny hop that I made with the drop cloth and I'm going to stick that underneath. And I'm just going to make it ripple a little bit. So I just put a little dot of glue on the edge to make it look like it's wrinkled up. And then I put a button in the middle of my bow. And that's it, you guys. This project was super easy, not expensive to make. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. So today is about hopping into Easter. So all the DIYs are going to be about Easter. These are your hosts, like I said in the beginning. There will also be a playlist down below in my description box. Go check out their channels and the playlist. And let's get on to DIY number two. So this DIY, I am going to take... I didn't end up using this egg, so hold up on that. But I'm going to use a button, some more drop cloth, some more ripped um, fabric and ribbon. These... um greenery from Walmart and I'm going to use some paints and I'll let you know the paints when we get to them because there's quite a few and then some more of that dark wax and a candlestick and then some more Excelsior. So I ended up using one of these blank um, eggs instead that you get at the Dollar Tree because the other one I couldn't get the stuff off. So I'm using some burnt ombre from Apple Barrel, and that's what I used to paint the whole egg. Then I put tape down and I divided it in three space spots, and I'm taking my candle wax and I'm rubbing that, gonna rub that all over the egg. Then on top of it in the one section, I'm using the vintage uh, tea rose color, and then on the bottom, I'm using celery by Waverly Chalk Paint. And then you're gonna dry those thoroughly, okay? Then I'm gonna lift my tape up and move it up to the other sections to make sure I don't get paint on that. And then I'm gonna also use the candle wax again and rub it all over. And then I'm gonna come down with my um, plaster paint by Waverly in the middle. Once that is all dry, I'm gonna take my little tool from the Dollar Tree scraping tool and I am just going to scrape, okay? And what the wax is gonna do that the candle wax that we put down, it's gonna distress it and make it look old, okay? And it's gonna scrape up some of that paint. Now this candle, I will tell you, I did not like because the wax didn't hold very well. So you're better off using the tea light ones, but that's what I had, so that's what I used. Then I'm gonna go around the edges with the dark wax and I'm just going to uh, do like I did on the other one. I'm just going to make it look a little more distressed and then I'm gonna go over the whole thing also with the um, bigger stencil brush. And if you get darker in sub spots, just use your baby wipes and wipe it up. It's anything wet, it could be a paper towel, you can wipe it up, it's, it comes up very easily. It doesn't dry quickly, cause it's a wax. Then I had this little stand that I painted with the burnt ombre and I'm gonna use that. And then I distressed it by um, what <laughs> I distressed it, oh my goodness, by uh, using my sander. And then I wrote spring on a piece of drop cloth with some stamps and I made a bow and I already showed you that before so I didn't show you again. And I put that on the side and then I'm just gonna put my little spring, a uh, little drop cloth tag that I made and then put my button in the middle. And I'm gonna ripple that a little bit by just putting a little dab of glue on the end of it. And then I'm gonna take some of this um, greenery from Walmart and I'm going to put that on the top and the bottom, just tuck it under my bow. And then I put a little Excelsior underneath my bow as well. And now I'm gonna glue this down to the stand. Now this stand I got from Christmas from those little scenes that you could buy in the little package. So I keep those because this is what I use them for. Now I'm gonna take some Spanish moss and I'm going to glue that on the bottom of my little stand. And I know I forgot to show you this in the beginning, but I decided to do this 
later. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take some eggs and I'm gonna put those on the bottom. And then I'm gonna take some of this um, Sweet Annie, it's called. It's dried Sweet Annie. I got it um, on the Etsy. And I can have the link down in my description box if anybody's interested in purchasing it. But I get it on Etsy. And I just put that on the sides. And there it is, you guys. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. And now DIY number three. This one, I'm going to use that tea rose again color. And then I'm going to use this plastic cup from the Dollar Tree and plate. These bunny ears and some of these uh, power paper roses. Some greenery. That um, That's a white burlap that you could get at Walmart. Some more ripped uh, fabric and ribbon. A tag and some um, of that fabric you see there as well. So what I'm gonna do is uh, also the dark wax, yes, and the distress oxide. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cup and I'm using the sponge and I'm gonna dab all around the cup, okay, with that vintage tea rose color by Folk Art. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the clear plastic plate. Now this clear plastic plate, if you put that cup on top, you're gonna have a little edge on it and that's what you want. Then I'm going to take my burlap and I'm gonna measure out how much I need on the plate for the plate and also for the cup because we're going to wrap it but first we're going to paint it with that vintage tea rose so now i painted those so that you can't see the white through it because burlap you could see through a little bit so that's why i painted those and then i'm going to take a piece that i cut out and um put for the top part of my cup and painted and then i'm just going to trim off the excess with my scissors and now I'm going to wrap it. And painting the burlap's just really easy and it dries quickly. Um, I did use my heat tool to dry it though, it was fine. It gets a little stiffer though and it's easier to work with actually. And then I just go around the edges of the cup on both sides and I'm just gonna keep wrapping it until I get it all the way around the cup and then I'm just gonna seal it closed with my glue gun. And then just cut off the excess and I cut off the excess that was on the top as well. And then the plate, I'm gonna do the same thing. And there is a little piece on the end that you could see there that is not going to reach um, the whole thing. So what I did is I just cut one of the pieces that I had to cut off and I just put it on. Cause you're not gonna see that, it's gonna be in the back. We're making a bunny hat. This is really cute and I love this idea. And then I just cut off the excess with my um, scissors. And then I took my sander and I'm sanding the edges of the plate upside down. I left a little bit there because I want it to look frayed. I'm looking for that old vintage look, rustic look. And then I'm going to um, seal it with glue on the bottom of my cup and put it down on top of my plate like so. And there we go. That's the start of your bunny hat. Okay, now we're going to cut these bunny ears off of this band, of this uh, headband. And then I'm going to draw the bunny ears onto my um, cloth that I have here. You can use any fabric of your choice. Then I cut the ears open and I took out the metal piece that's in there. And I used my pliers to just pierce them together so they, they make the shape of the ear. because this wire is really thick. It's probably like an 18 or 16 gauge wire. Then I'm going to wrap the cloth around the wire and now I'm making my own bunny ears. And then I took some of this Distress Oxide in the color uh, Worn Lipstick, used a stencil brush and lightly brushed the inside of my ears with that color. And now I'm going to glue them to the front of my hat. There you go. Next, I made that bow and I'm gonna stick the bow in the center of my two ears and hat. And then I'm gonna make a tag. And I can't remember what I put on this tag. I think I just put Happy Easter. <laughs> oh no, I put something else. I can't remember what I put, but I put something on it and then I distressed the edges with this tool I have. But you could use your scissors to do that because I want my tag to look old. And then I crunched it up and I get my tags at Hobby Lobby. 
Then I also used some dark wax and went around the edges. And then I used some of that Distress Oxide and Vintage Photo and just did the top of it. I want it to look really old. And then I'm going to take my, my um, little rusty pin and I'm going to pin it to the ear. Okay. And then I'm going to take some of the paper roses that you saw. I got these at Hobby Lobby in the scrapbooking section. And I just put a rose in the center with my um, button. And then I made them look a little rustic with the Distress Oxide. And I put another bigger rose on each side of the hat in my... There you go, you guys. Isn't it cute? I love the way this turned out. It was so much fun to make. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, don't forget to come visit me on Facebook. Make sure you go check everyone out. The links will all be in the description box. And I want to thank you for watching. And as always, remember, stay crafty. Bye.